Amy Cole presents. Okay, so ladies, why did you call yourselves um, Cleopatra? It was kind of a, a mistake, I think, because my name is actually Cleopatra. When we started, I was the only one that was singing, and it was a while. It took a while for the girls to start getting their confidence and bring them in, because we were called Cleopatra and the Attractions, because they were doing all the, 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 the dance dance dancing. Oh, and then we, I really like it. That's keeping us warm right now, doing all this. But then we dropped the Attractions because we. We hated it, basically. Yeah, it was a bit too cheesy. But we'd already built a fan base around London and Sheffield and Manchester and the other places that we toured, even though we were tiny little bots. And um, everyone already knew the name Cleopatra, so we kept it. The record label loved it, and it seemed to work with the public. And yeah, here we are still. The same. So you guys are from Manchester originally, right? We're originally, no, we're from, originally from, from Birmingham, Birmingham, but we live in Manchester. I'm from Coventry. We got. We got. You know <laughs> that. <laughs> so, like, how do you feel like coming to London? Do people appreciate your music more here, or do you have more appreciation in Birmingham? I'm in Manchester. Um, I don't feel like we have any, any particular based fans. We have, we're well known internationally, which we really appreciate. Most of our fan base are actually in the States, believe it or not, and in, J in Japan. And when we go online, we talk to most of the fans from those places. In the UK, it's kind of shared across the UK mm. and we try and keep ourselves as current as possible so we're not trying to kind of stick, stick ourselves into one little box and only one person could like I it. I always hear artists say there's kind of like a bit of a divide, oh, gosh, like there's, no. there's south oh, and then there's like up north. Yeah. Um, well, with northerners, we're very cross I like that, northerners. We are, we are very cross the market and we don't say, all right, well, this is a northern sound or this is a London sound, this is a everything sound and everybody makes music, not just one area or one country or one city. Everybody makes it. I think Cleopatra are very universal and that's probably why we don't see that kind of divide. It's all about good music, putting it out there and enjoying it wherever you come from. And who do you think is making some serious noise right now in the UK? Oh, Chipmunk. Oh, we love Chipmunk. Look at Chip. He's so cute. Can, you, can I marry you? I know I'm a bit No, old. I'm first. I'm okay. first. Like, I'm that he's taken, ladies, honestly. Who cares? Who gets? Do you get? Him. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyone? Anyone else? Yeah. Definitely end dubs. Oh, one of end dubs. Yeah, they're definitely doing it for the UK at the moment, making us. And Vivi Brown. Oh, oh Vivi. Oh, I like the way they did that in sing. They were like Vivi Brown. Ooh, <laughs> Vivi. You can tell. Now what? what now just for me, right here on the mix. So we, mix. So if you could just look at my camera and just say Cleopatra, coming at ya. Are you okay. ready, ladies? Yeah. Cleopatra, Cleopatra coming at ya. That's what I'm talking about. I'm standing here with Egypt right now. How are you doing? I'm doing real good, thank you. I have to say, I'm loving the dress. Thank you so much. You're looking very glamorous tonight. Now, you're nominated. Yes, best dance act. Yes, and best newcomer as well. So how are you feeling about that? I'm feeling really good, um, and I just feel completely blessed to be nominated. How do you feel about the other people you're up against? Um, I think they're brilliant artists. They're doing great things in the UK, and UK is on the rise. The UK is making some serious noise right now. Making some serious noise right now. And what have you been up to lately? Been working on my next single that's getting a lot of attention. Yes, trying, trying. Um, next single's coming out in January. Album's coming out later on in the year. And um, just working hard, really. Promoting in the morning, it's out now. And yeah, just doing great things. How about the UK? What artists are you backing? What artists do you think are really getting some serious support right now? Or? Right now, Tinchy Strider, Chipmunk, just got his number one with Oopsie Daisy. I'm so proud of him. Obviously worked together on the charity single called I've Got Soul. That went really, really well. That went top 10, so I've got my first top 10. So everything's doing really, really well. It's really big. Artists, yeah, the artists are doing extremely well. And what message do you have for your fans watching the show right now? Thank you so much for all your support and getting me here to this stage at the UMAs and just continue to support me. I'm coming with some great music. I'm here with Jordan, organiser of the Urban Music Awards. How have you felt the night has gone so far? It's been really well. I mean, it's a good comeback. You know what I mean? Urban Music Awards have been going on for seven years now. Um, this year we launched um, for the second year in America and um, we came back in London for the seventh year to launch the first, you know, best music Asian, best Asian music category. And I think it just shows how more culture the award show has been. If people understand about the UMAs, what Heartless was saying on stage was the first award show that gave Dizzy Rascal an award, first award show that gave MIA an award, first award show that gave Ragiv an award, you know what I mean? So we, we kind of set the trends for others to follow. In 2007 we gave JLS an award for best 
Boston Sign Act. So what you're seeing here, and every act you've seen perform on stage today, you know, these are acts that are going to make it internationally. And that's what we're about. We're about, you know, literally setting the trends for others to follow. Not, not going for what's more popular and commercial. It's going for nurturing the people that we know are future stars. So how does um, your awards, um, the UMAs, differ from the MOBOs, for example? Well, it's simple. When we launched in 2003, was there was a strict remit, 100% UK-based music. You know what I mean? And, and if you if you remember in 2003, there was no um, award show taking UK music seriously, and the UMAs launched to give that platform for UK artists. And we are so proud that most of our artists that we supported from from seven years ago got on to be superstars. Um, people that look little, little kids that teenagers try to used to come to my office, Chipmunk, they're number one in the charts. But we believed in them seven years ago when they were 14 and 13, getting them on the radio station, getting them in the magazine. Like we've we've shown today, we had little kids on stage 13 doing poems about success. We believe in them whilst they're young. Other award ceremony catch them after they've done the work. The kids need to be inspired, acts need to be inspired, and that's what we do. We catch them when they're young, when people don't actually give them the exposure, and we really, really get them out there. People, people, that's the show just about done. That's all I have from the UMA. So hit me up, mixtape at BritAsia.tv, or Facebook me, and I'll see you same time, same place next week. Peace.